the shop won't show up just yet until I come back into the window. And now it should pop back in. There we are. Uh, welcome back, everybody. We're just uh, going to be doing the second drawing for this evening, so I just cut the stream there uh, so that uh, I don't have to edit the VODs later or edit them on YouTube, which is a pain in the neck. Um, you don't have to come up with anything. I was just wondering if you had something uh, off the top of your head that you would like. Uh, I think what I'm going to do instead of Venus um, is I'm going to do an underwater scene. Uh, that's, that's what I'm going to do here. So to start with that, we're actually going to start the same way we would start um, uh, a sky drawing. We're going to grab our sky blue, which works as a underwater blue as well. We're going to fill with that. I'm going to start uh, I'm going to start filling in this is going to be very kind of impressionistic I think um, I'm going to just kind of fill in a uh, a Horizon under the water here. It gets uh, a bit brighter as it gets towards our eye. I'll smooth out some of these details in just a second. I'm going to grab this and go across. This color and go across. And get lighter and lighter as we go. Grab this color here and make that here. Lighter and lighter. Sort of basically defining sort of the limits of what uh, we would be able to see underwater here if we were floating above a sandy ocean bottom instead of being in our nice comfortable rooms uh, on land. So I'm just grabbing the colors that result from taking one color and uh, allowing it to get less opaque on top of another color and doing the same thing with those. It's just sort of grabbing and drawing and fading out and blending out. Eventually it's going to get to the point where I'm sort of more or less happy with how it looks. That looks pretty good to me so far. I'll, uh, Nice. All right. That's where we're starting. We're going to file and save this as stream zero two PSD. 
Uh, oops. Now, um, we're going to grab should be in this scene. I think I think we're going to want some corals and things, but for the moment, let's grab um, a bright cyan yellowish color. We're going to drop our opacity down to. 50% see how that looks and we're going to start doing sort of the the outline of ripples and such as they connect here on the sea bottom this is my first time drawing a seascape so uh we'll see how this goes this could be lots of fun underwater looking things here Getting the impression this is going, this is uh, sort of some place that's not too deep in the water. Uh, maybe just offshore somewhere. Getting somewhat deeper as it goes into the background. We'll have. A little bit more of these. Um, interestingly, these these things, the the those sort of bright spots that you see when you when light shines through a wine glass, or uh, the bright spots that result uh, from the crests of waves on the bottom of a pool or the ocean, like these, these are called caustics. That is the name of that phenomenon. And I'm not entirely sure why they're called that. I think it has something to do with um, sort of the mathematics involved. They're uh, they're very. If you try and do the math for why these things look the way they do and what uh, what is causing them, um, the waves coming together, the equations get very. Uh, complicated very fast and hence caustic. That's my that's my thinking anyway. I don't know. And uh probably, you know, if if someone is watching these VODs later and knows better than I do, please feel free to comment and correct me. Uh all right, so that looks good so far for um ocean bottom kind of stuff. I'm just going to move up a layer um, cuz I'd like to I'd like to maintain this seafloor thing that I've got so far. I'm quite happy with how it looks. Uh except for sort of over in this area. So I think over here we're going to grab our trusty sort of burgundy color and we're going to put in some kind of coral. And we're going to come back in and like change the colors of some of these things. I'm just sort of roughing in what's going to be here and where roughly it's going to be. Uh, 
We have layers and layers and layers of this branching coral. I think places for fish buddies to come and live. Uh, I'm going to have some more of those. <laughs> hey, no, no problem. Uh, you gotta, gotta make sure the kitties are comfortable, right? Like that's that's really important. Uh, no skin off my back. I've just been rambling about uh, uh, the uh, the nature of light and why it's called caustics and things like that. And little fishies living in coral. I'm gonna start another stand of coral off back here in the uh, in the deep water. And as we go back farther, I'm going to allow my brush to get less and less uh, opaque because the uh, the colors of things as you go deeper into the water away from your eye uh, they become less and less saturated more and more blue I'm just gonna grab some of that bluish color put some to fill in these shapes uh, and some more back here Even a little bit of these rocks and things here. Um. I don't want to disturb too much of this detail right here because I like I like how it looks. <laughs> um, I guess I'm sort of vain that way. Um, let's grab this color though and sort of make this a bit more solid looking up here. Building on layers and layers upon layers. Um, so we'll have a little bit of a coral spike coming up this way. And we're actually going to grab a brighter red for this because this is going to be right near the foreground. Little coral horns and things. Something like that. It's colliding with the other one. But that ought to be okay. And uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll start. Working on some little fishies in a moment. Kind of add some foreground thingies to this, protrusions, and so on. Coming up towards us. C 
see even with your stuff tiny little things like that that um, piece of coral is already starting to look a bit more uh, three-dimensional just by having a uh, foreground background uh, difference in color and things Um, just make sure I am streaming properly still. Oh yeah, it's coming through nicely. Um, ba da da da, ba da 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 da, ba da da da. And he told me of his life. In the land of the sea, we all live in a yellow submarine, yellow submarine, a yellow submarine. We all live in a yellow submarine, yellow submarine, yellow submarine. Da -da -da, doo -doo -doo -doo. In the da 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 <laughs> Vod muted because I started singing Yellow Submarine. Oh, <laughs> probably. I don't know how good their algorithms are. <laughs> but it was funny anyway. Uh, very funny, very funny. Now it's stuck in my head. I can't stop singing it. <laughs> Getting a song stuck in my head while I'm drawing is a thing that happens a lot on this stream. So, uh, you know, uh, anybody who's watching the VOD, you know, uh, uh, you might want to come stick, check us out when we're when we're live. You never know. You get uh, dinner and a show. And by dinner, I mean some artwork uh, being drawn for you. Uh, well. All right. Cool. So we got some corals growing. I'm not going to get too fancy with um, adding more and different types of corals. However, I will grab a hot pink color. And make my brush nice and tiny, and I'm going to start adding little polyps. Look at them, little polyps going yum nom 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 nom. Eating all the stuff in the sea. Go. You can almost feel them going like whip, 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 in and out like little umbrellas, hungry little umbrellas. I just love that corals are little animals. And they're just just zillions of little animals living and building their little skeleton houses over years and years and years. And they become these beautiful shapes that we see. I just think it's great. I think it's wonderful.
All right, well, mute some of these a little bit. Um. Right. Hold on. Sorry. Gonna uh, pull back on some of these colors and fill it back in with uh, the reddish stuff. Not too much though, because I quite like the hot pink hair. Um. What do you say? We um. We say we uh we populate this with some fishies. I'm gonna make some clown fishies first, I think. Itty bitty little fishies. I'm actually gonna do these on a separate layer as well because uh I don't wanna ruin my coral. So we're gonna grab little fishies. Grab that muted color and make that solid for the fishies in the background. Flash a little bit more orange as they come forward. We have little little clownfish. I think I'm not gonna get super detailed with these. Just sort of enough to be like, oh yeah, those are totally fish. Did I put these both on layer one? I did. I got rid of my extra layer. That's all right. Grab them. Edit. Cut. New layer. Edit. Paste in place. Fantastic. So my fishies are on a different layer now. Which is great because that's where I wanted them to be because I don't want them to uh, interfere too much with uh, um, The uh, the coral reefs that I've already drawn. Let's give a little stripies on the clown fishies. Very indistinct. That's okay. They're allowed to be indistinct. And we're gonna grab some of this shadow here, and we're gonna go. Okay, and the shadow for this fishy is gonna be like. Here-ish. Shout out for this fishy. We're going to pretend this fishy is like closer to the sand. So the shout out for this fishy is going to go like kind of here. And we're going to back off somewhat on this shadow. Uh, 
Hmm. And that helps to sort of orient these in space somewhat. Um, and give us a sense of where they are in relation to us and each other and the seafloor. The amount of detail helps as well. Things are going to be more detailed in the foreground than they will be in the background. Um, might do a little fishy swimming in between the uh, polyps here. Not sure. Oh, I should probably put shadows here under the coral to sort of indicate where that stuff is. But it's here, and it's uh, part of a complete balanced breakfast. Complete and balanced breakfast. I'm just, I'm just making shit up now. <laughs> Um, what other kind of fishies are we going to have? We're going to have some sunfish, I think. Little blue. Little blues. Um, so those guys are going to be over here, maybe. They're a bit more wedge shaped. Just a little bit of yellow, yellow green on them. I think. I think that's right. I don't actually like how that turned out at all. I'm going to back that off a little bit. There. Good enough. With just a bit of dark bluish purple to kind of be the stripey along the side. That fish. And it probably doesn't really belong here, but I'm going to put a jellyfish in, I think. Um, kind of floating off around in here a little bit. So we'll grab a light pink color and we'll bop our opacity back to 50%, maybe even 20%. Start off with back up to fifty percent now. like jellies, yes, I remembered. So we'll add some more jellies maybe in the background here. Floating around with our little jellyfish friends. And 
I don't have one right up. Getting right up in our grill here. I think. With uh, what with being transparent and all that, jellyfish think they're so cool because they're little ghosts, little sea ghosts, and yeah, yeah, they are pretty cool. Let's be honest here. Jellyfish are pretty much the coolest. I'm actually going to grab a little bit of a darker red here to be like. Oh yeah, these things have a tiny, tiny bit of shadow on them. Tiny, tiny bit. We're going to go like 20% opacity here for this. Like, yeah. They're mostly just like, hi, we're here. And we'll grab that shadow color here again, and we'll show that that jelly is actually quite close to us. As far as jellies go. I'm quite happy with this. <laughs> Cats are, and that's why you say someone is a cool cat, not a cool jelly. You've got a point. You've got a point. So maybe maybe jellies are not the coolest, but uh, they're pretty cool. They're not as cool as cats, but they're up there. They are up there. Alright, so we got our fishies, and our corals, and our seafloor, and I am actually really pleased with where this is at, so I think I'm going to put my signature on it, uh, kind of back here. We 
move that somewhere a little bit less conspicuous. Ah. over here. Maybe I had it in the best place to start with. That's fine. That's alright. That's alright. That's a good enough place to have it. File save. And we will flatten our image. And save as a PNG. And there you have it. There's our cool underwater scene. I'm uh I'm really pleased with this. Uh I like how it came out. I'm gonna do more underwater stuff in the future, I think, because uh because that was a lot of fun. <laughs> so thank you for joining me. And I hope you enjoyed uh, the arts that I made tonight. Um, I'll be posting these on my uh, Twitter and Tumblr and Instagram uh, later. And I'll be posting the VODs both here on Twitch and um on my YouTube channel. All of those links are accessible below the video if you're watching on Twitch uh, or in my YouTube header if you're watching on YouTube and I will um, uh, just post in the chat here uh, in case anyone is uh, else is watching, which doesn't appear to be. It's just you and me here, Cass, but uh, I'll post my Twitter um, Slash the uh, drift with an underscore and Tumblr uh, is cute spaceships. Tumblr dot com slash art. Uh, just so it shows up in the VOD as well. Um, thanks for coming over. Uh, and we will see uh, y'all on the flip side next time I stream some art, which will hopefully be every night. We're gonna try. I'm gonna try and make this every night, or at least every weeknight. Um, we'll see. It's kind of sporadic at the moment, but uh, we'll we'll do what we can. All right. Well, that's me uh, signing off of Twitch for the evening. And uh, Cass, I will uh, I will meet you in a little bit. All right, uh, that's it for the stream tonight, folks. Thanks for watching, and uh, we will see you all later. Good night.